Mikhail, um, congrats on the win, a great night. Was the only disappointment that didn't kill the game off? You just felt like the game was still alive? Yes, absolutely. Especially the way we played the first half. Um, how determined, how brave we were. Uh, the quality that we showed against this kind of opponent to be so dominant, score the two goals. And then we wanted a different second half, probably, you know, a continuity to be that dominant and, and with the ball to be a bit more composed than we were. We had three big chances to score the third one and probably that would have killed the game. It didn't, by credit to them as well. And the changes that they made, the adaptations that they make, and uh, they force us to play again in a different area of the piece that obviously we had more problems as well after to, to win territory and to, and to continue to play in the way we did the first half. When he's in this form, is he really unstoppable? Just the way he's so powerful in the air. So powerful, but as well, he's, he's so intelligent. The way he occupies the spaces, the way he glides everything together, his work ethic. And now he's around the box, and you have the feeling that he's going to score a goal. The goal was superb. I think overall the performance was really good as well from him. So, really pleased with that. Is uh, Julian Timber okay? Because it was a surprise when he came off after playing so well in the first half. Yeah, he was unbelievable in the first half, but he felt something uh, muscular and uh, he wasn't certain, so I didn't want to take any risks. He's been out for a year. He's played a lot of minutes, probably more minutes than we wanted in the last few weeks, and uh, we have to manage him. Mikael, when do you start looking at the 36 team league table? I mean, are you looking at it tonight or is it still too early to kind no, of worry about that? It's too early, I think, as well. Everybody has to play a lot of different and difficult games, home and away. Uh, we have to adapt to that. We don't still know, you know how many points you need. The only thing you can focus on is to perform and try to win your own games. So we've done tonight and um, carry on doing it and now focus on, on the Premier League. Do you feel there's the same sort of jeopardy and significance to these early round games as there was last season in the, in the four-team group? I don't know. We all want to be, you know, at the very top uh, to play less games and, and to have after the capacity to have better draws. Um, it's going to be a long journey, I think. Mikhail, um, Mikhail has just been on TV saying he thinks this is Arsenal's year. Um, what do you think of that comment? And do you agree with him? Well, uh, the players feel that uh, we are in the right direction and, and they believe in what we do. It's a, it's a great sign. It's a uh, a night to be really happy because we play one of the best teams in, in the world for sure um, and, uh, and to be able to perform and, and win the, in the way that we did, I think it's a, it's a really good sign for the team. Okay. Um, obviously, Charles gave Mikel Marina his debut tonight. Yeah. Uh, how good was that and how do you think he got on? Really good because, as I said, uh, you know, he joined us first session, he gets injured. He had only one session with us. Uh, he was ready. Uh, he was really willing to be part of us today. And uh, obviously, with the with the injuries and uh, and the changes that we had to make, uh, we believe that he was the player that could have helped us in that phase. And I think he's done really well. George from BBC at the back. Mikel, hello. I just want to have the players feel in terms of um, probably Champions League now and beating a team like PSG at home and they were very streetwise in the way they saw the game out. What did you make of that? I think it raises the confidence, I think, and the belief that, uh, that we can compete with, with any team at that level uh, in European competitions, with the European kind of games that uh, are very different to the Premier League. And I think we showed uh, a lot of maturity in the way that we played, but as well, you know, I think we, we put our stamp in the way that we want to behave in Europe against top teams, and uh, I really like that. Mikel, just a quick one on Ricardo Calafiori. We've seen your fullbacks invert into midfield for quite some time now. At times in the first half, it looked like he was playing like a number 10. Was that something you instructed him to do, or was that something he took yeah, on? Yes, yeah, he has the capacity to occupy different spaces. He's really comfortable with that. He's already done that uh, in Italy, and, and that's why we signed him. First of all, because he's a, he's a great defender. He's got this presence, this energy, and, and this full commitment in the reaction that he does. And then he's really brave. He, he doesn't care uh, in any situation. He wants the ball. He wants to make things happen with it, and he's happy to play in uh, in different roles. Gentlemen, hey. hi. Hi, we got hi. I mean, I would like to ask you about the uh, Declan Rice. I mean, uh, this season with Thomas fit to play from the from the very beginning. He's playing more on the left of the midfield, uh, and he seems to be less involved than last season, for example, with the ball. At least it seems maybe he have data which he's involved in the same, the same how he looks at home. 
from outside the list to me. I would like to ask you what do you expect from him on that role? If it's similar to what we have seen in your team with Grandi Chaka, for example, if you are happy with the, how he's been dealing with that uh, pain at the left of the midfield? Yeah, I'm very happy, obviously. We have to understand the context of games that we played. Uh, for example, last, uh, last Saturday when we played here, he was very dominant with the ball. I think he created. Um, one of the best stats that um, they were produced in, um, in the Premier League. But obviously we play different contexts and this place got the capacity to play different kind of games and it still be very, very important for the team. Uh, today we use him as a six as well in the second half. It's a great quality that he has as well, so he gives us so much. Hi, Mikel. Um, you used the word maturity just now talking about your team. When you look at them before sending them out for a game like this, do you feel differently to last season in the yeah. Champions League that they've found something new about how they want to attack this competition that maybe was harder to do first year back after? I did. Years? I sensed them differently yesterday as well, and the way we were preparing the game and how they wanted it, the level of focus. But uh, I think they wanted to prove a point tonight as well that against the top teams at home. Uh, we can be ourselves and we can be very dominant as well. And uh, it's another step. We have to continue to do that. Okay, last two, Tom. Yeah, just, just a similar theme. Do you think the players needed a big win like this against a big team to kind of feel that belief that they can beat the biggest club? I think so. And it creates as well these special nights at the Emirates in European nights against big clubs, you know. And uh, that belief is something that uh, leaves the energy and uh, leaves the spirit of everybody. And uh, first of all, it's about believing that you can face those incredible teams and you have a really good chance to beat them. And you are good enough to do that. So I think it's going to be very helpful. And finally, Sammy. Because, as Amy said, I was only a second season in the Champions League, but there, there seemed to be like a, a bit of a calm and control about your team tonight, particularly in the second half when, when they were maybe coming on to you a little bit more. That, that must have been yeah. something that impressed you. It did, and especially as well because the result at halftime was similar to a few days ago, and then what happened, and managing emotionally that, and and staying in the game in the way that we had to do, um, I was really impressed and, and happy with that, even though they were still, especially in the second half, things that we must do much better. Thanks. Good yeah. night, everyone. Thank you.